we will be performing a high pressure seal change on a generation 3 intensifier. The high pressure seals need to be serviced when there is water flowing into the drain container or through the leak detection block. Listed on the screen are the tools and components required to perform this service. Note the lights on the proximity switch on top of the intensifiers. You will want the red light of the proximity switch on for the side you are going to repair. If the proximity switch is on the opposite side, manually shifting the directional control valve is necessary. You are ready to begin service after the machine has been locked out and the water source, if not equipped with inlet water solenoids, is shut off. Manually shift the directional control valve after the machine is powered off to relieve any energy that may be captured in the hydraulic system. Disconnect the high pressure water lines using a 13 16 wrench, a 1 inch wrench, and a 1 and 1 quarter wrench for the poppet housing. Remove tubing and set aside. Disconnect the water supply tubing from the water inlet connection on the bottom of the end cap using a 7 8 wrench and a 13 16 wrench. Disconnect the drain tube from the weep connection on the bottom of the high pressure end cap. Using a 1 and 1 quarter inch crow's foot, remove poppet body and seat. Loosen the cap screws one quarter turn at a time until bolts are not in contact with the end cap. Remove the cap screws and washers from the upper two mounting holes. Verify the washer is on the end cap screw. If not, pull with a pick or flat screwdriver. Install the end cap support studs to support the end cap cylinder assembly. Remove the remaining cap screws securing the high pressure end cap. Remove the high pressure end cap and high pressure cylinder. Some effort is needed to pull the high pressure cylinder off the plunger. Place the high pressure cylinder on a workbench. Remove the consumable backup disc from the hydraulic end cap. Clean and inspect the plunger for damage and material buildup. Remove the high pressure end cap from the cylinder, then separate the check tube from the cylinder with a plastic dowel. Place the high pressure cylinder on the end cap. Ensure that the cylinder is centered on the end cap so the inside diameter of the cylinder is not blocked. Insert the mandrel tool into the high pressure cylinder and press down. Tap with a plastic mallet if necessary. The spacer tube pushes the high pressure seal and backup ring out the bottom of the cylinder. Turn the high pressure cylinder over and use the mandrel tool to push the spacer tube which pushes the second high pressure seal and backup ring out the bottom of the cylinder. Clean the high pressure cylinder with degreaser and scotch brite. Clean the inside edge of the high pressure cylinder bore with a scotch brite pad. Inspect the area for wear or damage. You only need to clean the portion of the bore where the high pressure seal resides. Inspect the area for wear or damage. Clean all parts with cleaner and dry completely. Pull a rag through the spacer tube and cylinder bore to remove debris.
Clean the disc thoroughly with solvent and a Scotch-Brite pad. The consumable backup disc should be changed every other seal change for optimal high pressure seal life. Stand the high pressure cylinder upright. Place the cap tool on top of the cylinder. The insertion sleeve has an inward taper to compress the seal as it is pressed through. Slide the insertion sleeve into the cap tool larger diameter upward. Use the mandrel to press the high pressure seal through the insertion sleeve and into the end of the high pressure cylinder, o-ring towards the cylinder. Remove the insertion sleeve from the cap tool. The inside of the backup ring is tapered. The taper in the backup ring mates with the tapered end of the high pressure seal. Align the backup ring the tapered end of the high pressure seal. Use a plastic mallet to tap the end of the mandrel to press the backup ring onto the high pressure seal. Seat the consumable backup disc into the bore to support the installed seal. Turn the cylinder over and install the spacer tube. Repeat these steps for the second high pressure seal and backup ring. During this process, make sure you are working on a clean work area and hands are free of debris. Insert check tube into high pressure cylinder, noting orientation. These are not bidirectional. Inspect check tube O-rings. Place the high pressure end cap over the cylinder and check tube. The high pressure end cap has a low pressure water connection and a weep hole drain connection. Ensure to configure the high pressure end cap Install the brass consumable backup disc. Be aware of the correct orientation. Install the high pressure cylinder. Note orientation of the high pressure cylinder. The larger counter bore goes towards the hydraulic section. Lubricate the cap screw threads with general purpose grease. Also lubricate both sides of the cap screw washers. Draw the high pressure end cap into the intensifier evenly, alternating between two end cap screws. Remove end cap support studs. Install remaining end cap screws with washer. To properly torque the end cap, start with the A sequence at 25 foot pounds. Adjust torque wrench to 50 foot pounds and torque using the B sequence. Adjust the torque wrench to 75 foot pounds and torque using the A sequence. adjust the torque wrench to 90 foot-pounds and follow the B sequence.
Using the alignment tool number 110393, verify end cap is torqued properly. If there is a gap between the end cap and tool, loosen the end cap and repeat the torque sequence. With the seat installed on the high pressure poppet housing, screw into end cap and torque to 45 foot pounds. Connect the water supply tubing to the water inlet connection on the end cap. Connect the ultra high pressure tubing to the outlet connection in the poppet body. Also connect the drain tube at this time. Tighten all connections using two wrenches. The machine is now ready to be brought back into service. Remove locks and turn back on your water source.